Isolation Nation, welcome to a new day, a new dawn. I just woke up. That's not exactly true, but pretty close, pretty close to it. Is it dawn? I don't even know what part of day dawn is. Does anybody know? Is dawn the nighttime one or the morning one? One of them is dusk. That one sounds like the nighttime one. So I'm assuming dawn is morning, but it's currently late afternoon. In some places in the world, it's morning. So have I confused everybody enough yet? I hope so. That's what we do here at this show. This is the Social Distancing Social Club. I'm Ben Glebe, and I am now going to introduce you to the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the four three-legged people that host the show. <laughs> Steve Hopstar. <laughs> Steve? Hello, everybody. Ben, just to help you out, um, dawn is when you go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> okay. That means, okay. Yeah. That don't, means, okay. 
Got some weird lighting here. I'm a little pink. Not sure why. Anyway, if you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at SKSCshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome another one of the legs of the four-legged quarantine. Please welcome Mr. Chris Bowers. Everybody, Chris Bower. Hey, oh, wow. what's up, everybody? Uh, the, the definition, honestly, Ben, the dawn is when you go to bed and when Steve wakes up. So between the two of you, you're awake for a full 24 hours. That's why you do such great work, because you're just doing a whole day's work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. That's uh, right. We field how- all complaints to Nowhere Comedy Club 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, and whenever one of you wakes up, there's like a 17 fucking message text thread that happens for the rest of us, where it just dings <laughs> an hour and a half because one of you just woke up uh queen rachel's also here queen how are you doing queen i am excellent guys i got another voicemail from um oh, the no. man who sang to me <laughs> and I, I know who it's from now so i'm gonna leave that part out because it was from a company but oh, even with yeah. him announcing what company it was from he still left me this you guys ready Oh damn! Hold on. Wait, this I'm is so from good at this. this is a corporate voicemail. This is a corporate voicemail from a place that I um, leased a car from. So here we go. <laughs> I'm infected. I'm gonna turn it into a zombie in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the voicemail this time. Instead of singing to me, he turned into a zombie. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't translate it. It's I also you un zombie, you know, playing it on play very bad to be So wait a second, Rachel, you leased a car from this company. This is a mm-hmm. salesperson. Yeah, this is the card that I just turned in. So like for my final bill payment or whatever, um, since I moved, um, I don't know. Like I just turned it in. You know, I just got your car. Yeah. Right? So he was basically ago. like, okay, now that she's finally not a customer anymore. I can sneeze at her over the phone? What is this? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm, I may have called the wrong company about wrapping your car, Steve. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I think I must have got the prompts wrong. I remember I hit two for Spanish, and then I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't, apparently. I should have been translate that. I, I must have hit seven for sing to Rachel and tell her you're going to turn into a zombie. That must have been uh, um, so, I, I, no, I want to explore. We can't just skip past this. I want to explore this for a second. So this guy thinks that singing to you without saying who he is, singing to you in a language that you do not understand, and then calling to say that you've made him ill is going to curry your face. Well, here's the thing. I kind of believe that this is the best way to get you to call this number back, right? Because they're a payment <laughs> collection, right? And And granted, it's been a week. I just need to make my last payment to them. And oh. they didn't like leave their name. And so I think it's just a way for them oh, to like make sure people mean. call them. Yeah. So when I, I thought... called them yesterday, I was just dying laughing. Like, can I talk to the guy that left me the voicemails? And they didn't oh. let me. I thought it was like a guy from the car company hitting on you. No. I don't think so. I think they just, I don't, like, I just don't know. I can't get a both? hold of him. Yeah. That's a, that's a very uh, typical opinion though from a jealous ex so i see why you said that steve <laughs> no basically mm-hmm. everybody's like, what, if, what, if, what if the budget chicken showed up at your house to collect rent that's what this basically <laughs> <laughs> by the way steve here's a joke that would have been funnier four minutes ago when you first said it you're lightly pink because people say your comedy is medium rare <laughs> <laughs> Ben, you know how like you know how you uh, when like you think of something on the drive home and you're like I wish I would have said that, and then you park your car and you don't U-turn. That's what you should do. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm in a weird place, you guys. I gotta be honest. I was flossing my teeth last night before bed, and a big part of my tooth fell out. So I don't know if I'm not sleeping enough or. Uh, you, should, you shouldn't floss with chain. I think that's the problem. <laughs> I have to go straight from the show today to the dentist, to Carmel's office, actually, to get my tooth. I don't know if it was filling that fell out or tooth, but a big chunk. Wait a minute. To- Is this similar to the car leasing place with Rachel? Is this how you're going to finally get Carmel to hear it by knocking your <laughs> <out>? <laughs> 
This is the only way to get her to put stuff in his mouth. I get it. <laughs> I just had to create holes in myself I, to make it. Work, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Now a part of my penis fell off. Okay, I get what's happening. <laughs> do we have uh, any super glue in the house, it. Carmel? <laughs> It's very hours. weird, you guys, because my back's been very bad for about three days and I can barely walk. I can barely stand up. And so I was I was literally stretching. I had my leg up on the counter while I was brushing my teeth or while I was flossing my teeth. And then part of my tooth fell out. So I had leg up on the counter. My teeth are falling out. I don't understand what's happening. But if this is Biden's America, I want out. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's the opposite. It's it's the last throws of the of the tension that has been thrust upon us for four years and we're just finally like able to breathe and so the, all the residual effects of the craziness i think are hitting us or me at least uh i'm also going to once again point out that bauer said part of my penis fell off and him saying that is my new ringtone <laughs> <laughs> Can we not talk about I, found a, I found a cigar cutter so it didn't go good uh <laughs> now, this is not about mine rachel this was about power yeah, it's about my penis uh for once i uh <laughs> there was not an overnight game there was not an overnight game uh so steve why don't we talk about today's actual game Today's actual game uh, in making fun of the ridiculous conspiracy theories coming out of the right, where they are making up just, I mean, everything, when you hear it, you don't even have to address it. You just have to be like, that's dumb, that's dumb, that's dumb, fuck you, you're cool, fuck you, or whatever the quote was. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, uh, what we're doing is create an equally dumb conspiracy theory. Now, this could be about anything. It doesn't have to be about politics. Uh, some examples, for instance, are that Trump left the 60 Minutes interview because his seat wouldn't stop vibrating. Um, or that uh, the reason that things flipped in Wisconsin is because people spilled a bunch of Cheez-Its on the ballots. Or I am actually the head of the soup club. Either way, come up with some sort of conspiracy theory, share it, and the way it works is- Wait, 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 wait uh, Steve, you're soup anon? You're, you're the actual guy? I am soup anon. I, I am- I am Supanon Crouton. That's my full name. Anyway, so <laughs> if uh, if you want to participate in the game, what you do, you can comment on any of our streams, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. But if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show uh, and have a much better chance of being read on the air, what you do is you throw in a tip, at least $5, whether it is a Super Chat, Venmo, or PayPal, throw that in. Give us your best conspiracy theories or your worst conspiracy theories. Um, and again, uh, keep everything legal and kind. Incred I don't know about kind. <laughs> well, I just mean you can keep it legal, but don't get, you don't keep it kind. What kind yeah, of don't, let's not let's not threaten anyone's life in the comments. I think that's yeah, an important thing to remind everybody. That would be everybody. illegal. That would be illegal. But Steve yeah, Hofstetter yeah. saying to keep it kind is like a bowl of soup saying, "Hey, can we just keep the liquid cold today?" Come I on. meant first of all, there's gazpacho, but I meant and I I'm not the head of the soup club. I just happen to know this. Um, but I meant kind for me. I meant on a scale of like my level of kind. So hey, not that kind. We're not going to be calling people Nazis. We shouldn't be throwing all this, all this gazpacho talk. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, they, both S's in the SS stand for soup. <laughs> soup the soup soup is coming. <laughs> all right. Well, Ben, why don't we introduce the front row and get this show rolling? Why don't we? Please, VIP video front row, join us. Lend us your charming smiles. We are about to do the damn thing. We are joined by Dave Adler with aluminum foil on his head of the box. Tam with actual aluminum foil on her head. We've got Chris LaBelle, foil hat. Love it. Conspiracy theoried up. Lindsey Brown, my Wait, theory. Is he, eating, is he eating soup out of a bag? Better believe me. Oh my God, pops so, out of a bag. So is Tam. <laughs> and bags of pasta. This is amazing. A bag of pasta, and then uh, Lindsey Brown. My theory is she's also wearing a foil hat. You just can't see it. That's why. <laughs> Zara Bending is in a virtual background kitchen and does not have soup, but soup is made in the kitchen. So a lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's a bowl of a mug of soup. Jessica Kybel about to do a big reveal that is Trump and drag and the spin and bam, there it is. <laughs> Trump's best look yet. Finally embracing his feminine side. Leedy Corbin, foil hat, hopefully drawing today with saran wrap. I don't know what that means. Sean Ehrlich, 
wearing a foil bandana that's painted blue to look exactly like his other bandanas. Jonathan S. Representing Biden's win in Wisconsin. I call it Wisconsin. Rob Lovick is with us. He's back by the fountain. Shannon Burke. She's with us as well. No foil, but maybe she'll carve some foil by episode's end. Brian O'Connor's with us in an underwater beautiful land. We've got Jan Skittles Johnson inside listening to hip hop. We've got Bill Thompson joining us from his favorite corner. August Gus Walsh <laughs> with Karen Trump shouting, Stop counting! <laughs> Matthew Plummer coming to us from the set of Pawn Wars or Storage Wars or whatever. And Frank Nataro coming to us from a virtual background and looking looking faded, not as in high, just very barely there. And Cheryl <laughs> Hargraves is here with us. Hello, Cheryl Lee. And that is everybody. Robert ben, Barrel. Oh, what? Matthew's background. That's the Four Seasons total landscape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it looked beautiful to me. That's awesome. Also, also Zara in the chat <laughs> referred to uh, Trump and Drag as a needle wall. <laughs> that is awesome that we've works. also we've got two got great built. comics as well we got two great comics dana eagle is back dana how you doing Ooh. Ooh. she here there she is oh now can't oh there i am i'm dana eagle and uh i used to think i liked myself but then i realized i was just using me to get to someone else <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And first timer, we have Robert Bar Bar Barrels here. Robert, how you doing? Doing great. Anytime I get to perform in front of my closet, it's a good day. So thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> we appreciate you closing the door. Most people, when they perform in the closet, leave the door open, which really affects Ben in a terrible way. So we're glad you shut it though, so you wouldn't. Or Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, Taylor, can we throw Dina? Uh, can we throw Dana and Rachel also on screen right now? Because looks like we got a bit of a theme. <laughs> no, I just did this, right? Like... You just did this, but Dana and Robert were dressed they like that. <laughs> nice work, Sarah. everybody. I see you got the emails. Finally, somebody well, read the fucking email about the show. No one ever yeah. read the email. <laughs> their, well, obviously, uh, their favorite musical is SDSC Comics Wear Plaid. Oh. <laughs> I quit. This is not my day. This is not my day. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Hey, Ben, plaid. maybe I'm pink because you're super rare. There we go. All right. <laughs> Nailed it. Totally got me. I, I think I'm pink just because I got sunburned from the reflection of all the foil that you guys are wearing. <laughs> Maybe all of my humor was in my bottom right tooth. <laughs> like Chandler's nipple, his extra nipple. I, uh, I, I st my favorite conspiracy theory so far is somebody told me yesterday that all the voting machines in the swing states were Nancy Pelosi branded voting machines they literally thought nancy pelosi made the voting machines and sent them to the states i'm like you are a fucking crazy person and my new argument is just that's not real well you don't say yeah. that's not real just say that's not real till they give up that's the only thing there you cannot defend that's not real there's no way to do it anyway rachel we got a thing you, coming up you before rachel coming in let me just say you've got to really feel put in your place when you're told your conspiracy theory is not real garbage by the man who just six months ago believed there would no longer be money <laughs> at this point in history. Also, also the man who thinks that no mom and pop restaurant could possibly be good because any good restaurant would have been franchised. No, 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 no. I didn't say franchise. I said if you're really good, there's two of you. There's a slight difference between <laughs> if a good restaurant usually has two or three. Regional change are the best. Let's not get we don't have to rehash that whole thing. And Ben, I was incorrect about still not having money. Uh, give me six more months, but fuck, I think that you know, I think right now we're good. You know, I'm just saying when the pandemic started, I put all my money into pot because I knew I could spend that and trade that for shit no matter what happened. <laughs> Which is a good, that was, that was sound. I go with that. Pot loses its value as it gets dried out. Don't you know that? I've never had, I've never let it get dried out, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Rach, anything yeah. coming up? Uh, <laughs> we just have some really great game entries already. So we're, yeah. we're good. Bowers, by the way, spent all of the pot he got in the company store. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed most of it. I will give you that. Uh, Oregon legalized heroin. Yes. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and, and such a great moment in women's history. You know what I mean? For so long, female heroes have been outlawed. <laughs> and Everybody's back. <laughs> Did you just glue your tooth in? What just happened? <laughs> We did just have three generals coming at this at the same time. <laughs> Savannah Martin said, I will not stand for this. <laughs> Thank you. And then Oinga Boingo, all on last name. Bowers had a point. There is a national coin shortage. See? Huh? I'm there. I'm halfway there. I love when his <laughs> coins are very stupid. Also, I love when Savannah's defenses of Bowers come in just several minutes after the Bowers insult, and it just sounds like she's generally indignant. <laughs> she's not watching she just assumed you guys made fun of me and she's right every time <laughs> yeah, it's 15 does. after let's let's tweet my usual defense of ours yep, she just sends it in once every 15 minutes and she's right every time <laughs> that's great uh and last one city would tip the show 20 bucks is it always great shows i would like to ask everyone to buy some soup and donate it to your local food pantries oh there you go that's Honestly, good. that hey. that that Steve Slam really didn't have a lot of bite to it. <laughs> <laughs> I speak on behalf of the Soup Club, but, but also yes, that's a wonderful idea. If you're gonna buy the soup for the food pantry, just make sure it's still in the can. Don't buy the bowl of soup; that's not gonna do them very much good. <laughs> <laughs> just drop just it. Just make off sure <laughs> when you donate your soup, you 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 tell them it's on behalf of you and Steve Hofstetter, <laughs> in hopes of getting him back in the club. <laughs> So what you do, you you uh you just drive over with a bowl of soup, and then you walk in, and be like, "Hey, I have some soup to donate." They're like, "Where is it?" Be like, ah, "I hit a bump." So <laughs> Zara said, "Text soup to four eight four eight four eight. I already tried. That doesn't work. All right, uh, <laughs> let's get to a comic. Let's go. All right, returning champion. We loved her last time. Good for Dana Eagle, everybody. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. This has been very exciting. Having Biden win. Yeah, because I'm an LGBT, gay, and gay. <laughs> So right now, I've just been staying on birth control just to remember what day of the week it is. Uh, but the very, mm -hmm. very exciting thing is that I ha I come from a family of Trump supporters, and they sent me gay hate mail, and they called me a loser, but they spelled it with two O's. Yeah. <laughs> hilarious, because everybody knows it's two S's. <laughs> so, so exciting for everybody. You know, I didn't mean to get right in there to cut right to the middle. It's just people always say they're like, look, if you're a comic and you're not talking about the real issues, you are just wasting your time up here. And that might be true. But usually, I'm just wasting my time anyway. So who cares? It's not like it was this or work for Amnesty International. This is like the least damage that I could do. Now, having said that, having said that, there is one issue that's close to my heart, keeps me up at night. I am not sure if I believe in Medicare for all. But I do believe in a pedicure for all. <laughs> some of you, I don't want to see in sandals, okay? That is just the truth. I do not want to see you in sandals. So this is where I come from. These people, they're not all bigots. And by the way, when you're gay, that's just what you have to do. You have to be able to take lemons and make bigotade with it right <laughs> when you're stuck between your homophobic cousin and your xenophobic uncle pour yourself a big tall glass of bigotade it makes the bigotry easier to swallow <laughs> now i don't know how i got in this family my mom growing up she took me to a lot of pro-choice rallies she felt very strongly about that issue I guess because she feels like she made the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth grade at a pro-choice rally. I didn't want to be there. I was forced to go. I wanted to stay home and watch Atari. Then in sixth grade, I went to a women's lib rally and she made me put on a jacket and I was like, hey, bitch, my body, my choice. <laughs> 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 
I'm a feminist, you know, because I love trends. And <laughs> femin <laughs> yeah, feminism is in, says BuzzFeed. Move over, vaping. Feminism is the must-have accessory of the season. And if you're just getting into it, too late. Time's up. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't. Okay. Feminism, just so far, it has not panned out the way that I thought. Like, I thought there'd be a little bit more payback. You know, I thought we'd get some free HBO. We'd get to uh -huh. ride in the carpool lane. But it's just about equality for all. And I'm like, well, that's not going to work. We're not going to all fit in the carpool lane. And by the way, <laughs> let me say this. Equality for all? Like, isn't that just like a woman? Let me make sure everybody is taken care of. Let me make sure you get dessert, even though I haven't had dinner or held high office yet. <laughs> By the way, I shouldn't be telling that joke anymore, which is very exciting. So, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully it'll change, but so far it's just been a lot of marches. We've been marching for a long time. We've been marching since the 60s. I remember when the Saints came marching in, I didn't ask to be in that number. <laughs> and the truth is I have no idea how this chunk ends but I <laughs> with equal pay <laughs> that's all I'm hoping for by the way I haven't watched my time at all so someone's going to have to cue me um, that being said I don't know if you guys want more hard issues uh, I want to be I wanted to foster a dog that was what I wanted to do. Um, so I went to the LA shelter. They're all pit bulls. That's what they all are. Every single one is a pit bull. And by the way, it doesn't say that they're a pit bull. It says they're a mix. And what they are is they are a mix of two pit bulls. <laughs> right? And so then I was like, well, and by the way, here's how you know, because the profile picture, the profile picture is of the dog sleeping with a little plush animal next to it that's what it is and then all the other pictures are of the dog playing but you never see that little stuffed animal again and so <laughs> i didn't know if i could do it and my friend said you could do it because if the dog becomes agitated don't worry you will have a crate and i was like i don't think i'm gonna fit in that thing <laughs> and <laughs> then i went back online i was like let me see what other let me see what other animals that they have and it turns out that you could get a pony. They had a <laughs> pony on the LA shelter. And I was like, I could totally use a pony. I could put it on my balcony. By the way, it was part pit bull. You should know that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that was my light. So that was, uh, that was like, do 20 more minutes and then you <laughs> Dana Eagle, everybody. Dana Eagle. Yeah. Is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on YouTube. And please make sure, um, you know, listen to what Dana said. It's really important. And do not tip her more than Robert. It's equal pay. <laughs> no, back pay. <laughs> By the way, Dana, the uh, the Time's Up joke I thought deserved way more. That was fucking great. I that was great. Did you guys, speaking of losers, did you guys know that if you go to loser.com, it redirects to Trump's uh, Wikipedia? Fun <laughs> <laughs> fact, yeah. It's yeah, awesome. what's, what's different? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought that's where it went. I don't know. <laughs> well, what people don't know is Ivana Trump actually registered that in 1987. So that's been there a long time. <laughs> just now looking at it. So there you go. <laughs> Dana, uh, I love your earrings because I can't I can't tell if your earrings are the chain for your glasses or if they're separate. It's been I've been thinking about it for a oh no, they're separate ear. Okay, cool. Those are bad. Yeah. Those they're are my glam earrings. earrings. I've been trying to turn more uh, you know, ladylike during this thing. <laughs> well, <it's working. laughs> yeah i feel way more insecure so it has to be working by the way dana uh so my mother also uh raised me very progressive and she used to go to protests all the time 
And it was fun to be able to, it was a weird thing to congratulate her on Kamala Harris becoming VP. Because like, <laughs> my mother didn't really have much to do with it this time. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. They like that issue. But then the other ones, like, you still have to drag them along on. Like, I don't know if I believe in it. Was it we had an interesting conversation about where she was talking about how the Democratic Party, how she doesn't like that it's leaning. And she's very, very into the Democratic Party, but she doesn't like all the all the socialism that they're espousing now. And I had to be like, hey, mom, you're a socialist. Heads up. Everything you believe is socialism. <laughs> right. Except for the part of, I want mine. And why shouldn't I get? Yeah. Well, no, no. That, that's for yours. That's that's not that's not her. I think we have different mothers, Dana. Just a heads up. Yeah, <laughs> it still has to be pulled along. I'd like my mom to meet your mom. It would bring it along, and then we can have some play dates. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll bring uh, I'll bring a pit bull. Uh, <laughs> Rachel, what do we got coming in? All right. So we had uh, Jess in our front row, tipped twenty bucks, and said, "I can really get behind the idea of pedicures for all." <laughs> nice um matthew Plummer, five bucks uh dana what's the alcohol content in big o -tade? oh <laughs> whatever you need did you say big o -tade? <laughs> it's -aid. you said big o -tade? like it's <laughs> i think it also goes by monster energy <laughs> 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 I like the idea that the drink is just called Otade and it's just a big one of it. So that's it. <laughs> you want your ice your Otade? Yeah, I'll take some ice in my Otade. <laughs> I'll take a small Otade and you know what? My buddy's going to get a big Otade. Like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, can I get a grande Otade? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, Big Ote does not come in foreign languages, goddammit. <laughs> Deeply oh, American. <laughs> that is perfect. We also had... It comes with American food, by the way. You can only get it with American food, like French fries and pizza. American food. Yes, exactly. From Staten Island. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> A little more personal. Big Otade might be equal to Semper Fi. That's pretty close to Semper Fi. <laughs> well, I think Semper Fi is still better because Semper Fi is a real thing. <laughs> but she just heard what it was four minutes ago. This happened. I don't, I don't listen to the show. I don't listen. Semper Fi Fofum. All right, we also had Kim Stewart to Dana five bucks for a pedicure. Oh, man. And then Tam, five bucks. Dana, Pitbulls are terrible. I mean, Pitbull's songs are terrible. I change the <laughs> channel every time he's on the radio. <laughs> yeah, by the way, uh, Pitbull, like the singer, has not done any favors to Pitbull's reputation. <laughs> <laughs> You know that the, the Philadelphia. This is true. The Philadelphia Eagles would never play any Pitbull songs at the stadium when Mike Vick was the quarterback. I don't know exactly why, but I think. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Zara tipped Dana five bucks and said, "Great set. When life gives you lemons, keep them because hey, free lemons. If life gives you melons, you may have a, you have may have mild dyslexia." <laughs> Make melonade. <laughs> melonade. <laughs> um, we also had Stephen Burks uh, tip ten pounds, five pounds and one cent for Dana, and four ninety nine for Robert. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I get a night with melonade. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't uh, melanate that thing you take to go sleep? What's that called? <laughs> oh, no. I met her on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. 
<laughs> we had a couple assholes tip. Uh, <laughs> brown tip to us. General, oh do big O tapes come frozen or on the rocks? <laughs> Oh, have you ever had ice big O'Tade? It's so good. <laughs> what you do is you, what you do, you take a bunch of Dixie cups and you pour in the Dixie cups and put a little popsicle stick in it and then boom, you got <laughs> Those are Mason Dixie cups, Steve. Those are Mason Dixie cups that you big O'Tade comes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, we should get those. I'm gonna bring those to Lesbian Cake Bar. <laughs> <laughs> we have that. It's a real thing. <laughs> All right, Rachel. What else? Jake Jake Parker tipped five bucks and said the the big O Tade always satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. And then, and then we're caught up. Please no more big O Tade. <laughs> Sorry, so the big O'Tade comes with a free tiki torch and a hat that says Chad. <laughs> it, uh, it actually tastes or great. Or <laughs> it, uh, it tastes great with uh, vaginas. I want all of you at my family's Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're caught up. I finally, I will say, I finally talked to my dad yesterday because I, if he hates Biden, fine. I just want to make sure he wasn't like saying this was not a real election, which he's not. He's saying Biden sucks, but he appreciates the election. But he sounded real, real sad, and it made me real happy. I don't know why. <laughs> the first time I ever heard him sad made me happy, but it made me real happy. Just the defeat in his voice just was. I just, I mean, I didn't even. <laughs> see it. it just fueled me for like the whole day. It was great. Yeah. Also, most of the left isn't thrilled about Biden. We're just happy to see Trump go. Like that's we just decided on this. We're just like, all right, this is the way it's gonna be. All right, this is the way it's gonna be. Well, I don't know. Biden was my first choice this whole election cycle. <laughs> ben ran for president, and still Biden was his first choice. Ben was the only candidate to ever endorse Biden while still a candidate for president. That's correct. That was risky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like how Kanye endorsed Trump while he was running. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's. I mean, it is about perspective. Like we went down to West Hollywood on Saturday because there was we heard all the hon car honking during the show, and we just went down there, and it was awesome. It was super a lot of fun. And some of you guys saw the picture. Like we're walking down, we turn around, there's just a rainbow coming down across the over West Hollywood. It was just amazing, right? And then we watched Joe Biden's speech, and and, and they had it on a TV, and and there's a couple thousand people out there everywhere in mass doing what they're supposed to do, but having a great, just cheering, whatever. And I literally was like, yeah, during the primary, everyone in this little group fucking hated Joe Biden. That's how much people hate Trump. They were crying yeah. that Joe Biden was president. That <laughs> the together, is all well, here, here's also the difference is that none of us are going to have flags on our fucking lawn for the next four years. We're not getting <laughs> tattoos. We're not naming kids after him. We're just happy that the witch was defeated. Stay okay, well, <laughs> that's the thing. Thing. <laughs> Steve, if you're gonna say that we're not getting we're not getting tattoos for Biden, I won't show you my ass. And secondly, <laughs> uh, Wait, that's the key to prevent it. All right, we're not getting tattoos for Biden. <laughs> and also, I just hope now that Trump will be gone and the Biden administration will be able to finally tear down that wall dividing West Hollywood and East Hollywood. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> West I'm Hollywood gonna... was insane on Saturday. It was insane. And I was like, I looked outside. I was like, oh my God, wait till they hear about the election. <laughs> <laughs> have, we done, have we done a show since? Did I tell you guys about the, the truck caravan that I saw? No. It's so funny, by the way, now that they're doing caravans, because I'm like, you were very against caravans for a while. <laughs> now I'm totally into caravans. But yeah, I was uh, I was staying in a hotel in uh, Westchester, New York, uh, so just north of the city. And uh, as I'm leaving the hotel in the parking lot next to us, uh, there was there was like a whole bunch of Trump people and driving around in their trucks. I don't know where the fuck they came from. Um, I wanted to be like, go back to where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but upstate. Um, 
and uh yeah they had flags and they're honking their horns and shit and some of them were like out like next to where traffic was going so i did the responsible calm thing i realized you know what they lost they're blowing off steam and so i just drove by and flipped them off a couple times you know the responsible <laughs> thing i wanted to tell them all to put masks on and explain that like it had nothing to do with covid <laughs> I, I, I have a couple pictures i want to show you guys uh from saturday so this this first one is just that was the rainbow so how cool is that right just yeah. i mean I, I i sent that to my dad and i'm like tell me god didn't want biden to win motherfucker uh and then uh, this one and this is more of a steve story but there was a lady who was walking her dog across the road it was all shut down and it just shit in the middle of the road and then she didn't pick it up and then me and chrissy were just watching people and we were kind of stoned we were watching people walk by and almost stepping this dog shit and we were freaking out and i was trying to go pick it up and i couldn't find a bag but i did find a cone so i just put the cone next to the dog shit <laughs> <laughs> you could have put it problem. over the dog shit. Well, I didn't, want, I didn't want to fuck the cone. I didn't want them to work or pick it up and it's got dog shit on it. So I just put it next to the dog Fair shit play. and Fair nobody play. stepped in it. But then I did see a picture uh, today of, I think, why Steve really left California. Um, so this is, this is going to be shocking, guys, but. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked up Judy, Judy and he's pregnant. Jumped pregnant. down. <laughs> And Steve sold his house. And <laughs> I sold my house to try to afford the half air baby. <laughs> Comedian destroys potential for plastic blow up doll X to collect child support. Do you have any idea how difficult that baby is going to be? Like the, how difficult that baby's life is going to be? It's half plastic, half redhead. Like that's. <laughs> yeah, it. It can't be in the sun for BPA reasons, for cancer reasons. <laughs> exactly. There's lots of problems there. And you can't abort it because it's plastic and it's going to last another thousand years. <laughs> uh, the Supreme Court will count it as two dolls. <laughs> uh, Life begins at penetration. All right. Uh, <laughs> catch up on Rachel. No, let's get to Robert. All right. Oh God, this guy, honestly, guys, you're gonna love him. He he, I've seen, he had him. We had him at my club a bunch of times. He is one of the most politically his political posts are just great. It's very very funny. Robert Barrel, everybody, give Robert a big hand. Thank you. Uh, first, let me start by saying that I'm not uh, surprised that Trump lost to Biden. I am surprised that Trump beat COVID. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, right? He's in his 70s, he's overweight, he's got the coronavirus. I mean, Kennedy had a better shot against the bullet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was the come from behind story of the year when he managed to survive that thing. Uh, <laughs> Lots of people are doing their part, though, with the virus. I know gas stations, at least where I'm at, I see signs outside the gas stations that'll say, free coffee for medical personnel. And it's just, oh, you know, not very thoughtful at all, actually, that kind of sign. Because, I mean, what's what's that saying like hey you guys are the real heroes going toe to toe with that virus 16 hour shift staring death in the face you know what you can have on the house the cheapest thing in the whole fucking store That's <laughs> you know, you're, you're going toe to toe with all the worst coffee known to man it's it's normally it's a dollar and seven cents we're gonna eat it all right because you're the <laughs> You're the warriors in this. The batteries, those are still $9. It's non-negotiable. This is a gas station. We have a business here. But <laughs> all the worst coffee known to man. It doesn't taste good, but it's hot as shit. And it's it's yours. I don't, I don't think I would trust the opinion of any doctor that drank gas station coffee. I'm going to say that. Because <laughs> obviously, it's not the reason that one would go into medicine. But I would have to think that a perk uh, would be not having to drink gas station coffee. Like, <laughs> how low does your self-esteem have to be as a cardiologist to be like, well, I don't deserve Duncan. Like, what the fuck? You're <laughs> making six figures, spend the $4 and treat yourself like a person. If I'm in an exam room 
And the doctor goes, I'm sorry, Mr. Burrell, you have cancer. And I look over and see a styrofoam cup of gas station cough. He'll be like, I want a second fucking opinion because I don't think you know. <laughs> what Did you choose that? That wasn't left by a trucker. You were checking for hernias 10 minutes before I got in here, right? That was your purpose? <laughs> All right. Second opinion for sure. <laughs> People aren't taking the virus seriously, though. Uh, I have a cousin who's rapidly anti-mask. She gives me the stats. She's like, well, Robert, it cuts off 18% of your oxygen. I'm like, well, where are you shopping, Marcy? Underwater? Like, is that a big problem? (laughs) (laughs) I I know it's called Old Navy, but it's on land. I bet you make it. (laughs) Her family, she instructed her family to start boycotting Walmart, which good luck in that tiny ass town. There's three buildings, right? You boycott Walmart, it just leaves the auto body shop and learning how to make shit. So (laughs) (laughs) figuring out how to whittle. Uh, They they boycotted Walmart because Walmart on their own uh, required all of their customers uh, to wear masks in the store which came as horrible news to anyone that wants to be seen in a Walmart. (laughs) (laughs) Really, The best time to get recognized when you're putting the fourth box of snack cakes in the cart, that's when you want people to know for sure it's you. (laughs) Uh, I've been trying to stay mellow with everything going on. I've been trying to relax. So I've been listening to a lot of uh, Christian radio stations. Uh, I find the music uplifting, uh, but in between the songs, you're pretty judgmental. They were pretty, <laughs> pretty judgmental, because uh, they'll say things like, uh, you know, these songs are suitable for the whole family. I'm like, all right. First off, I don't know if the phrase "died for your sins" is suitable for a toddler. That seems kind of heavy. Uh, <laughs> do we need the chorus about crucifixion with the five-year-old back there? Is that going to give him a little? Weird feeling. Mommy, who killed Jesus? Well, you did, honey. You're not perfect. You lie sometimes. That's why a guy got beaten to death 2,000 years ago. That's why we- <laughs> in the morning. I got the lights. I'll wrap this up quickly. If you think about it, uh, all Christian music is, is just love songs for Jesus that he didn't ask for. And that's pretty creepy, right? That's next level <laughs> creepy, right? Because, like, I don't have fans. But if I did, and one of them's like, oh, my God, Robert, you're my favorite. Here's 80 songs I wrote about. You'd be like, fuck, get away from me. This is my murder. (laughs) And if you think about it that way, heaven for Jesus has to be a nightmare, right? Because it's just eternity (laughs) with his dorkiest, neediest, creepiest fans forever. He can't get, you imagine how much William Shatner wants to blow his brains out eight hours into a meet and greet in Topeka. God can't do that. (laughs) <laughs> all right that's it thank you very much everybody Robert Morales, so great. ladies and gentlemen if you want a tip tip jar is open top right of the screen is our venmo you could paypal at sdscshow.com of course you can super chat on the youtube other robert excellent point about the gas station coffee also i love that they're giving it to healthcare workers and it's the kind of coffee you have to take yourself which means other people are also touching it all day yeah exactly yeah this infection's on us yeah. <laughs> While you're in here, you get a free lottery ticket because you're a gambler. I like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was your tweet today, Robert? I loved your your. What was your thing you had today? Uh, the, oh, the today where like anyone that still thinks Trump won the election also hasn't conceded the Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. That made me laugh. Rachel, got anything coming in? Yeah, we sure do. So we have uh, Kim Stewart tipped five bucks and said, Robert, for some good coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. I appreciate that. And then uh, Tom Turner, 10 Canadian, to get a coffee at somewhere better than a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere. Anywhere is better. Tim Hortons if you're in Canada. Station. Yeah, he, mean, he means Tim Hortons. He's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We had um, Gregory G. tip five bucks for three gas station coffees or one half Starbucks coffee. <laughs> I'll take it. 
By the way, Robert, for the rest of your career, you're going to be tipped in coffee increments. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I'm sensing a pattern here. I got to have a bid on fucking cars. I think that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, mansions are crazy, right? You ever been on one of these? I think we can all relate. <laughs> We also had a uh, Tam Brown five bucks and Robert as a nurse, I'd agree with your assessment of drinking gas station coffee, but hospital coffee destroys our ability to taste and choose better coffee. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. All right. I also love that the, that the hospital coffee perk is not only just the cheapest thing in the store, but it's the one thing that basically says like, here, have this on us so you can just keep going and work in the front lines. Stay awake. Keep giving at the office. Not even like a free cookie or something. Right? Yeah, yeah. Or like the gas. Like this is a gas station. No, no. Yeah. You're not like hero, hero, right? You're not. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're wearing scrubs. This is also yeah. one free gallon would be nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what has been what has been interesting is uh, so at Nowhere Comedy Club we do a thing where health, uh, you know, health professionals can get a free ticket to a show. All they have to do is show us their ID and show that they work there. The amount of people who are like very peripherally related to that profession who have tried <laughs> to get free tickets, <laughs> like the amount of time, like we got one where they're like, well, I work in a garment place that makes uniforms for nurses. And we're like, you're not a fucking doctor, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a nurse three Halloweens in a row. Can I get a free ticket? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh, Most I, of them, I mean, it's 99% of them are absolutely legit. And then every now and then we get an email and we're just like, what the fuck are you doing? Stop it. I, I, pl I play a doctor sexually. Does that qualify, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I was actually a lifeguard in my summer between eighth and ninth grade. Does that count? <laughs> I sell pills. Does that, you know, it's <laughs> that guy actually gets a free ticket. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. It's not free. We'll just take trade. I get what you're doing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which pill? Let's go ahead, Dana. Which pills? <laughs> <laughs> Oxy. That's please. I'm gonna Venmo. <laughs> nice. All right, Rachel, we also okay. had um, a wingo bowingo long last name, five dollars for Robert, and nice. then Matthew Plummer, five bucks. It doesn't taste good, but it's hot as shit. Is a line I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jake Parker, five bucks. I tip Robert more, but I don't want to come off as a needy super fan. <laughs> no, i love that because i think you're right like i've always said i think that god wants us to get better so we evolve so we're not just such sycophants just going i love you I love it'd be so annoying all day if you were god it would be terrible it'd be the worst thing ever people just suck it was just like oh, you're the best. it's like okay let's have a conversation what do you think about the fucking yeah he couldn't you couldn't even go like you couldn't just have a nice walk on the street because they'd be like oh i loved you in the new testament he's like god <laughs> yes i know <laughs> In like, a oh. week. Yep, I said it. I, those, you know my lines. What are we doing here? <laughs> when there was like, one no, set of like footprints, this. when there was one <laughs> set of footprints, Jesus bailed. He was like, I get it. You're a fan. I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I also think it's horrible that they brought up the New Testament. I mean, the sequel's never as good. It's not his best work. <laughs> <laughs> he probably want 10 minutes in hell just to relax by himself and just chill. <laughs> <laughs> I Is love that what the so last much. Four years have been. Yeah. <laughs> I loved so much Kevin Smith's uh, uh, choice in Dogma when they when the Catholic Church was trying to rebrand the New Testament Jesus as Buddy Jesus, this like friendly action hero guy. Yeah, yeah. It's I Buddy had, Jesus. I had, an action, I had a Buddy Jesus action figure for a while, but I think I left it in a house. <laughs> ben had one; he'd have it have it right now at his disposal, like within arm's reach, but. I had one, but I put it on water and I couldn't walk. <laughs> Charlie in the chat just said, is it possible to chill in hell? 
I uh, I used to have a pretty good relationship with Jesus, but then I found out he was seeing a lot of other people, which I didn't care for. <laughs> <laughs> like monogamy. In a per- but at least he owned up to it, because I was like, Jesus, how many people are you seeing behind my back? And then he spread out his arms and died, which was extreme, I thought, but I got the <laughs> message. So why is Jesus not much of a clapper? <laughs> <laughs> I do yeah, think do you it's think amazing. If people clap in church, is that just mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look what our arms can do. <laughs> <laughs> no, his problem is his hands are so aerodynamic, he claps too hard, it hurts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, we also had Zara tip Robert five bucks and said, that set crucified. Also, with the beard and the plaid, you look like the designated uh, Robo mate in every Australian friend group. Robo? <laughs> Did I say that right? Probably not. Robo. Us know. Robo? Robo. Robo. <laughs> I still didn't say it right. Whatever. It's Rob Robo. Rob has B.O. How's that? <laughs> I don't know if I like that one, but. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Jess, Jess tipped you 20 bucks and said, I don't even know where to go with this. You're so fucking funny. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then Frankie Nataro, 10 bucks. Robert, I'm literally drinking my free Wawa coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stephen Burks, 10 pounds, five pound and one cent. So Robert can stand outside a mansion and judge people coffee. And then 4 99 for Dana to keep it fair. <laughs> it goes both ways baby i like it <laughs> we had anthony bradbury tip the show 10 bucks victor peterson dollar seven thank you guys um jake m tipped five bucks and said i learned today that trump means fart in the uk that explains a lot <laughs> also in the I- northeast <laughs> that means i am a trumper okay uh, and then uh, lilith m tipped 20 bucks and said for the psa that not even covid wants shit to do with trump yeah <laughs> like everyone else that works and then resigned after three days <laughs> <laughs> did covid wait covid scaramoochied trump is that what happened yeah, is it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had COVID for one Scaramucci. COVID's already got a book deal. Yeah. If you want something really lethal, you take a Kushner. No vaccine for that. All right, and we are caught up. Caught up. All right. Let's play this game. So the game is come up with some equally ridiculous, very funny conspiracy theories. And these are the couple unpaid entries that I liked. And so audience in our front row, if you guys want to play, please raise the blue virtual hands in the participants window and I'll call on you. So these are the ones unpaid. So Andrew Kerr, Chris Bowers, and the guy from Smash Mouth are the same person. (laughs) (laughs) We said ridiculous ones. (laughs) Hey now, come on. (laughs) You're an all star. (laughs) <laughs> uh, and then Warner De Jong, Rudy Giuliani scene in Borat 2 is actually orchestrated by Trump himself to be more appealing to younger voters, but he didn't realize people under eight, under 18 can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so these are, so um, Robert and Dana, these are the ones that we'll be voting on starting with our live oh. audience. So uh, Jonathan S, why don't you start us off? All right, so uh, Ben helped rig the state of Wisconsin for Joe Biden by sending an army of vintage ladies to cast illegal ballots. Uh, don't worry, I think your disguise was pretty good, Ben. They fit right Whoa! In. Whoa! Oh, shit! Whoa! <laughs> Damn! How did you get my exact vintage ladies with cheese heads on them? I cannot <laughs> divulge my secrets. But, uh, Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, I love your shirt, Jonathan. Thank you. There's some in that the was mail. That was awesome. So you'll have some shortly. Oh, you're getting them in the mail. Who is? I am? Woo! Yep. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> not more shit, Jonathan. We're trying to make him auction stuff off. <laughs> I think that's so actually why his tooth fell out. Ooh. He's giving away too much stuff and he's crumbling. <laughs> Maybe in the next auction, he auctions one of his old vintage ladies. I, you're breaking up, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave Adler, you're next. All right, so mine um, going to be salad is a tool of the Illuminati and Planet Fitness to sell ranch dressing and in turn, gym memberships. <laughs> All those things, Dave. That sounds perfect to me. I'm yeah. part of this conspiracy for sure. Um, Sean Ehrlich. North Dakota doesn't actually exist. It was It's a marketing scheme by South Dakota to make them seem warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I believe a lot of these. Zara. Okay, so uh, No Nut November is actually just propaganda from the anti-pistachio lobby. <laughs> 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 and um, down under, we actually do fuck spotters to keep the uh, drop bears away. <laughs> Any hands? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay. Um, my two are um, Milton and Henry are really government robot dogs conducting a undercover surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Um, and Rachel's uh, mispronunciations are all an act to lull us into a false sense of security. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Brian. I just got two. Uh, SD, SDSC created parlor to troll the alt right. <laughs> and if you send bacon to a liberal, they turn into a Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney Smith. Rude bow is rude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Zara was the reason uh, Steve and Rachel broke up, and she's currently <laughs> not in a hotel room at all, but is in a street across from Steve to make sure that he doesn't come for her woman's. <laughs> <laughs> How'd she know? <laughs> Zara is trying to show us that it's a real room right wow, now. Wow, that is an that is an incredible virtual background. Do you have like a very deep green screen? <laughs> Amazing. This is from Danny Jollis. This is all a video. This is all a video in the background. That's a Danny Jollis trick. I've seen that. Don't fall for it. She recorded that week. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Great proof, Zara. Great proof. Kind of like that time when you and Rachel were in the same room and that was real. Okay, enough of the lies. <laughs> By the way, I also like that she got a banana for scale at the same time. <laughs> I'm just very uh, lonely. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you said the confession. inside words outside, Zara. Wow. Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, loud confessions instead of soft confessions. <laughs> Yelling can. <laughs> wow. Also, also, it doesn't prove anything. I've got a green screen behind me for 150 episodes, and look. Oh, a chicken! Like it's so, it's not that hard. <laughs> stuff out of your fake background. To pull a chicken out of some. Oh God. <laughs> oh, 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 Chris LaBelle, save us. Oh God. Um. Okay. Uh. So, Lee's entire family is actually hiding under her desk, doing all of the doodles. There's no way she's making all of them that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then the other one is Rachel is actually the Zodiac killer. Now, hear me out, because think about it. Decades of experts and computer programs trying to beat the ciphers that they wrote, or Rachel just misspelled something. <laughs> uh, guys, you're up. <laughs> Are you choking now, LaBelle? You <laughs> What is Gus Syrup? <laughs> so I have uh, oh, yeah. that the uh, um, budget chicken knocked out Ben's tooth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, the reason for the WikiLeaks was because Steve used to work for the NSA and the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn it, I'm supposed to be in Russia. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> That's why you sold your place. Yeah. Um, is there anybody else in our front row that wants to do one live on air that didn't raise their hand? Just wave at me. I had one um, from Bill Thompson and oh, Tam, go ahead. Apparently, picking on Lavelle about his technological and technological challenges has affected me today. You're good. <laughs> Bowers witnessed the mafia kill someone at his vegetable farm in 1996, and he went into pr witness protection. Pr bleh, witness protection after testifying, he has flashbacks when he sees Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel is a linguistics expert for the CIA. This show is part of her cover. <laughs> ben was once the most punctual and organized person on the earth until the tragic globe accident. <laughs> The hecklers aren't real. They're all just all Steve's multiple personalities. <laughs> <laughs> Verbal <laughs> fight club. Are you choking too now, you bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I love the way Rachel talks trash still in her, her very dulcet tones. Are you choking too now, you bitch? <laughs> <laughs> And then um, Bill Thompson in our front row had uh, edibles don't give you munchies. <laughs> and here, here are the rest of the game entries. Kim Stewart. Trump is frantically trying to find spray tan to match his orange jumpsuit. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> That's good. Um, Kim Stewart. Lindsey Graham is marrying a woman. <laughs> 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 Wild. Uh, Jake M. In that picture with his hand down his pants, Rudy Giuliani was just getting advice from his press secretary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wingo Boingo, long last name. Ben has actually been getting it more than anyone else. He said, keep it kind. <laughs> <laughs> Amanasala. Carmel is actually Ben's blow-up doll that he's been stuck with, like in Castaway. <laughs> you hear that oversized bottle of Carmel-flavored coffee creamer? <laughs> Victor Peterson. Republicans are actually rare land-dwelling sharks in elaborate costumes hell-bent on accelerating global warming so that oceans will rise and sharks may reign supreme. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Renee Hutchison. Steve has been dyeing his hair his whole life because he came up with the idea of Ginger Kid at a young age and just really committed to the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Turner. This game is rigged. Votes should stop when, when they show that I'm winning. I still haven't conceded that I lost that one last week. <laughs> Tom and Asala. Trump's existence is proof of God's sense of humor. He gave us Kamala because he realized he took it too far. <laughs> <laughs> Raz, Carmel is lost in Ben's props and now Ben feels guilty and he's using, you hear that Carmel? <laughs> Hoping she can hear and re reunite with him. That explains the lack of action. Hashtag pray for Carmel. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not saying if that's true or false, but I will tell you this. Can you, can you, can you, have you cut over it yet, uh, Taylor? Can you? <laughs> Wait, let me check. Carmel, are you there? Are you there, Carmel? Where are you? Where are you, darling? <laughs> God, what's I will say that so I've been to, worth it. I've, I've been to, I've been to, well, it would have been more worth it if you cut during the actual moment when the thing happened and not having me had to make a thing of it, Taylor. Sure. No, not really. Yes. I don't think that would have made a difference. <laughs> Wait, Ben, 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 why am I pink? <laughs> I'll get back to you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> the worst eight ball ever. <laughs> I love that Bowers is doing the uh, reflecting on the window filter, but not on purpose. Look, day daylight savings time is fucking with my light. I don't know what's going on, but the sun sets <laughs> Figure this shit out. Have you I heard swear. of grapes, dude? Have you heard of I grapes? Then it's dark in here. I don't no, know. No, no, Ben. Drapes sound too much like grapes, and he <laughs> hates fruit. So. 
All well, right, Steve, that's because you're medium rare. Okay. Boom! <laughs> no. Still no. I'm going to Sala. This show is definitely scripted because there's no way someone would unintentionally fuck up that many words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I enjoy that you didn't even know where that was going until the end. <laughs> Jeremy Barry, Day. Good now. Jeremy Day, I hate conspiracy theories. I think there's a group of people making them just to annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Jeremy Day, I heard a conspiracy theory once about two single beds, but it has since been debunked. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, Frank Berman, SDSC doesn't exist. It's all in the mind of Henry Horse. <laughs> Is that true, That's Henry? A wonderful last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's sleeping um, right now. Feel free, to, FJB. Feel, feel, feel free to not cut to it, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. He's not going to. <laughs> FJB. Rachel is mispronouncing words on purpose. She's really a Russian spy giving away secret codes to the KGB. <laughs> nice. And then Amanasala. Ben is actually a morning person, just born in the wrong time zone. <laughs> <laughs> I am wrong. And then let's see. I mean, the, the battle cry of the KGB is Semper Fi, so I think this does work. I mean, that, that, that last oh. one is. Uh, Courtney Smith. Rachel was once a spelling bee prodigy until she mispronounced her final word in order to win, and the shame of that haunts her to this day. <laughs> <laughs> and those are all of them. All right. <laughs> oh, really good. I like a lot of that. I like North Dakota doesn't exist. Um, I like that Zara is the reason that Steve and Rachel broke up. Uh, the tan jumpsuit, the shark was good. Steve had dyeing his hair for ginger kid. But I think I'm going to go with that Lee's whole family is under the desk drawing. That was my <laughs> favorite. I'm going with LaBelle's. Uh, what was your favorite, uh, Robert? I got to go Republican land sharks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Dana. Yeah, that's got mine. Am I allowed to say my conspiracy too? Uh, we'll say uh, that once we vote. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, North Dakota, South Dakota, South. North Dakota is fake. Just make South Dakota look warmer. Awesome. <laughs> Rach. Um, here's another one. Rachel always reads ahead and knows exactly what she's saying as she says it. Big of <laughs> <laughs> it's um i just died and asked uh for this one to be paid uh raz is carmel is lost in ben's props and he's trying to find her by saying you hear that carmel <laughs> all right like, like like rubble after an earthquake yeah. make any noise carmel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but i have been to ben's house twice now and i've not met carmel yet so i don't know what oh. that's about but that's because you're not at my real house bowers i have a second place so I don't think about you in my real place. <laughs> nice. Which was your vote, Ben? My, I did like a lot the Leedy family, but I don't know why they need to be under the table. They could just be next to the next to her and handing her drawings when she's not on camera. So I don't believe that one. So I'm gonna go with Republican land sharks because it is the only plausible explanation for their heartless policies. Uh, I am also going to go Republican land sharks, which is particularly weird because they they tend to do worse along the coastline. But, uh, yeah, Republican land sharks is the winner. So to claim your prize, go to sdscshow.com, shoot us an email, and that is the way it works. Now, also, Steve, that's that, that's not weird at all because obviously people on the coasts would not want the sharks to come and drown them and take over right they know because they've experienced with sharks whereas people in the midwest are like what are these things they don't know that's exactly right and i would like to say you're medium rare <laughs> fuck you got me <laughs> dana what's your do you have any conspiracy theories to add yes i've never read the instructions that you email for this show and it's never been a problem until this segment which makes me think that it's part of a conspiracy of a fake format <laughs> nice robert do you have any no i was not uh I, the other stuff that i prepared i don't have any That's trump a is a good president how about that for a conspiracy theory <laughs> <laughs> very well. 
that's that works. Uh, I don't have any either. Rach, you got any? No, I don't have any. All right, Steve, Ben, you got any? I only got two. I've got eight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll do yours too, Steve, and we'll let Ben take it home. All right. Uh, I just have two. One, um, I am actually the budget chicken. That is why he was on video and I wasn't in the frame with him. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, and two, Rachel did not poison Ben. She was framed by Carmel, who wanted to not hear that. <laughs> when your plastic pregnant baby mama comes running to me for support i will tell her what it's <laughs> by the way the plastic pregnant baby mamas are playing at the roxy on monday <laughs> <laughs> yeah because they gotta eat steve <laughs> uh i've got trump supporters are secretly smart <laughs> Uh, I like pizza is actually secret code for I don't like pizza. <laughs> Trump is Dick Cheney in costume. <laughs> Steve actually apologizes so much that the human ear can only hear it as not apologizing. <laughs> Without makeup, the whole Trump family looks like Giuliani before makeup. <laughs> I just like the idea that Giuliani looks even worse without the makeup he's clearly applying. <laughs> Rachel and Bowers teach a popular learning annex class called Pronunciation and Enunciation. <laughs> I won the popular vote. <laughs> I just ask everybody to keep that quiet. In your house, at least. Well, well at least 50% and it's kind of a toss up. <laughs> Henry's the deciding vote. <laughs> Here's a conspiracy theory for you. What props? <laughs> <laughs> Two more. We have never heard LaBelle. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, QAnon is called that because it's just a drunk guy with a pool cue so far up his ass it tweaked his brain real bad. <laughs> I love it. All right. And if I could just say one thing about about your entries, they were well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a a rare compliment from you. Yeah, I gotta say a one. Oh god. <laughs> well, I could have done Worcester. Oh my god. I I should have done more. I made a mistake. <laughs> Rachel, do you have a new song queued up? I've got That's it. okay. I'm flanked by no, wonderful co-hosts. <laughs> <laughs> a sweet young artist girl is she, princess of online comedy, doodling so quickly when she's on SDSC. It's Lady Doodle Time. <laughs> 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 With Corbin. I love it. It's, it's so good. It's wonderful, it's so but we definitely have to make a version that's not the full 30 seconds. You <laughs> yeah. know? Yes. So some TV shows yes. have two themes that. Yes. No, I think it's good that we replaced my improvised one that was different every time. <laughs> something that's 30 seconds with a musical interlude that takes about a minute and a half. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. It gave, it gave my family member time to finish the very last one. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> um, here uh, is the very last one. It's, uh, are you confused yet? That's what this show is all about. <laughs> and uh, here is the budget chicken punching Ben's tooth out. <laughs> here is, and then they beat Jesus and he was tortured to death. And then there's young. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle 2020, pedicures for all. Yeah. <laughs> Scooping on crouton shirt. That's it. That's the entire oh, watercolor. <laughs> um, sorry, my sibling made that one. It's not the best. Um, I am really going to fuck with this lady. Oh, no. Cough. Hack. I'm turning into a zombie. <laughs> He's got your number now. It's too late. <laughs> A part of my penis fell off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, here's Steve with the grande otade. <laughs> and there's Bauer saying, what the fuck is that? America! <laughs> <laughs> Smash the bottle. I'm selling my house. <laughs> Here's the SS, uh, in other words, the soup soup. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it looks so pleasant. Uh, troops. It looks so pleasant. Oh my god. Yeah, they're all really happy. I had to make them cute, otherwise, I'm just drawing Nazis, really. Uh, <laughs> here's, a, <laughs> here's Ben with the tattoo of Biden Harris on his ass. Oh my god. I mean it's a it's a, in reality it's a picture of Biden wearing aviators smiling that smile. Oh, that, that's very my bad. My mistake. You couldn't have known. You couldn't have known. I've never seen it for good reason. Um here's and my last one is I need a wall. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, oh you bitch. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> at art for my hero no, awesome. <laughs> where you can follow her and her very talented family <laughs> nice. all right robert we made it to the end of the episode robert where do we find you at where do we follow you online and stuff uh at robert burrell 2 on twitter robert burrell on facebook uh that's about it oh and uh instagram on instagram all right, cool, man. Well, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. We'll yep. see you next thanks, time. Man. Great job. Thanks, thanks Robert. Man. Thanks, man. Dana, where do we find you at? Uh, Dana Eagle tweets, except I don't really that often. Um, and Dana Eagle on Instagram. Very cool. Well, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, Dana. Dana. Thank you. You next time. Uh, you can find me at Bowers Comedy, at Bowers Comedy. Uh, check that out. Ben, what you got coming up? I have to announce that I unfortunately have to postpone again my first in-person road shows of the year at the D.C. Comedy Loft in Washington, D.C. They've not gotten the permit to uh, reopen for indoor live performances yet, so we'll be hopefully rescheduling that for January. I hope for uh, two days after inauguration so I can be there for inauguration and party with everybody in our nation's capital. Uh, so that's a non-plug, but I will be doing the next Gleave Off the Top at Nowhere Comedy this coming well one week from tomorrow wednesday the 18th of november lady doodle time and her family will be there drawing under tables <laughs> awesome <laughs> steve uh you can actually see me live this weekend at the dc comedy loft uh, the comedy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um uh, you can see me coming up at nowhere comedy club uh you can see me on the 25th of november also uh, on Ask Us Anything, on Ask Us Everything, uh, Daniel Muggleton shaved his mustache. Um, we're doing it for charity for the Martin Foundation, and if we raise twenty five hundred bucks, um, I will shave the headband Steve mustache back from a uh, psycho yoga instructor, and I will keep it all throughout November. So the sooner we raise it, the longer I have to do that. But I'm also in traveling on the road in parts of the country where that's normal. So don't sweat it. <laughs> So check out and ask us everything show and join in the fun. Way to raise the stakes on those plugs. I hope at your upcoming shows, people can do a meet and greet afterwards. <laughs> God damn it. That was, uh, that was <laughs> great. Can we catch me. up on before we get out of here? Yes. We got a couple things. So we had Zara um, said land sharks are actually a thing. I promise this isn't an Aussie conspiracy theory. <laughs> nice. Uh, Technics, Ben. It would have worked, Taylor, sure. <laughs> Savannah Martin tipped 574 and said, being generally indigent and indignant, god damn it, and defending the best man on the show are not mutually exclusive. By the way, it's pronounced indigenous. <laughs> uh, and then Ray uh, Razor. By the way, Indignant and indigent are two very different things. <laughs> My eyes just go too quick and I'm looking at the end to make sure it's not something fucked up that I'm about to say and I just, I can't sure, yeah, someday. Yeah. I want people to tip with the word impotent and see if she says important. <laughs> I don't like the context that's gonna cause. I don't like that at all. That's why I feel like fun. I'm gonna be very important to a lot of people. <laughs> And last one I had, I liked uh, 
Razor said, Rachel used to pronounce words right. Bowers used to eat vegetables. Carmel used to hear Ben. And Steve used to pron pronounce Nevada right until they all got PTSDSC. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My light just fell and probably broke. Oh, very good injury. I'm sorry to have stepped on it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Do I cut to you now? <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right guys we're caught up all right well thank you audience yet again you were amazing i loved all the tinfoil stuff you guys make us laugh every time we will see i love the new group too which we'll talk about tomorrow uh we <laughs> we will talk to you guys uh oh no it's saturday and we'll talk to you guys uh tomorrow tomorrow we'll be here at at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, again, so audience, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much. Rach, you got anything before you get out of here? Just Gus saying I'm not impotent. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Sounds great. Bye. Yes. God, does, is that what the VIP front row means? <laughs> yes. Very <laughs> impotent. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I will I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm very excited. Uh, let's have a fun time. We'll see you tomorrow. Steve. Uh, yeah, fun as always. Um, sorry for my weird pink light. It gave Ben a ton of material, so that's why I did it. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm in a mood for I'm going to go get a steak. <laughs> well, Steve, I hope you get that steak ordered the way you like it prepared. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for being with us I don't know hopefully I have all my body parts here tomorrow night we'll see you well, tomorrow afternoon when is the show good night everybody what's in your mouth not, not much <laughs>